Hey, my girl, it's time to grow with Sharice. What's up when it's cold, I'll be your soldier. Anything you need, just let me hold you. Hey, guys. Coming to y'all with an awesome mukbang. Today, I am having some delicious stuff, y'all. Today, we are having some cucumber roll sushi. We're having some cabbage with some broccoli right here. And we're also having some shrimp that's stir fried with carrots, onions, bell peppers. All this food came from the mall. Me and my husband went to the mall today. And we um, just had us a little day out. But of course, you know, we didn't eat there. We bought the food home. And I said, I'm going to mukbang it. Okay, thank you, babe, for the food. And I couldn't wait to get started. So they have all these different sauces. There's the spicy sauce, the sweet sauce, the sriracha, and all that. It got a little wasabi right here. Okay, this is a whole beast. Okay, so we're going to get this mukbang started. And we got the coldest water bottle. Yes, they got a giveaway going on. Link in the description. Okay, and also if you want to get you one, you can put in the code Sharice. Yes, Sharice and get 10% off your bottle. Go ahead, get you one, y'all. They work, okay? All right, y'all. So I had decided to get some sushi and I didn't want to get any with any kind of rice. So I got the cucumber roll to see how I like it, okay? So let me show y'all one up close, yes. That is a cucumber roll. All they have is cucumber on the outside, yes. Then they have crab on the inside. So that's a cucumber roll. And it looks yummy. We're gonna get this mukbang started. We're gonna get to grubbing and eating, and I'm hungry. So I can't promise y'all nothing, but I'm gonna be eating good, okay? We already, let's give God some glory, y'all. If we didn't, if we did, I'm gonna cut it out. Let's give God some glory. Dear Lord, in my name of Jesus, cover this food with your blood, Lord. May I bring nourishment to our bodies, Lord. I ask you, Lord, to bless all the viewers with the fruits of the Spirit and keep everybody safe. In my name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Let's see. We got some sriracha. Yeah, that's sriracha. Okay. We got, let's put that right there. Hoo, 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 hoo. We got, this must be the sweet one. Oh, it wouldn't be a video for me if I didn't waste. Okay, we got the sweet one. And we got the spicy. Wait. Yeah, this is the spicy. And I'm scared of this one. Ooh, ooh. Got some duck sauce, got some soy sauce right here, if I need that. So I'm going to try a roll by itself. Mm-hmm. I haven't had sushi, y'all, since I had surgery. I cannot wait. Mmm. All right, what y'all think? I'm going to take a little bite. Mmm. It's good. I need a little sriracha. Mm. It's good because it's crab and it's that cucumber and it's fresh. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Now this is just some shrimp, y'all. I'm gonna do this one with the sweet sauce. Mm-hmm. The sweet sauce is good. Mm-hmm. 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 And I'm not a cabbage person, y'all. But this is... Mm. So good. Mmm. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. So what's up, y'all? How y'all day been going? What y'all been up to? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. How y'all feeling? Mmm. So I was thinking today, we could talk about childhood trauma. I know a lot of people are probably going to click off like, 
What are you talking about? Nobody want to talk about no childhood trauma, broccoli. But I'm just saying, let's talk about it. Mm. How many people go through it? Ooh, ooh, that was so awesome. Mmm. Yummy. But a lot of people ain't dealt with it. You know? Going through it and surviving and dealing with it is a whole different story. And I have been through childhood trauma. And I know I've talked about this on my channel before. Ooh, I'm going to stick with the uh, sweet saw. Mm. And I have been through molestation. And it, I think, and the reason I'm talking about this is because of, of course, it's weight related. I think a lot back when I was younger and I had, uh, how can I say that? I had, um, used to be a little rebellious you know when I was young but as a as a um I'm saying 1 through 12 13 14 15 I kind of suppressed the memories and when I got 15 uh it came back to me mm-hmm now being young And that come back to me, I kind of was thinking I was like it wasn't real. But I went through it. I completely remember that. And didn't tell anybody. Okay. I didn't tell like my mama you know, so I was like 18, 19. But by then I had then started rebelling to the point that ooh, this one packed. I um would act out uh looking for love in all the wrong places, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So with me doing that. I took the path of like a lot of bad stuff, you know? Stuff that really I didn't have to go through in my life, okay? But I'm not making wrong decisions because these memories that came back, I didn't even know how to be in a relationship, how to understand, and I sure wasn't going to my mama and tell her nothing like this because as y'all know, I don't know if y'all know, but if you knew, um, it happened by uh, my aunt's husband. Okay? And the memories were so vivid and it kind of like scared me and sent me into like a, just a really bad lane. So I was looking for love in all the wrong places and uh, I started to gain weight. Now from birth until I was like 15, I was skinny as a tick. Okay? I was my mama's skinny child. She's like, she would have to make me eat. But when I got to ten, and all this trauma came back to me, I started to act out in school, and I started to eat obsessively. And so, from fifteen to eighteen. I wasn't what even you consider big. I think I was probably just hitting 200 pounds. But I was still considered overweight. But from 18 to like 25, I then hit 250. I started having kids. You know what I mean? So, my life had took a turn with the weight gain. But I had never dealt with the molestation and trauma so I continue to just eat 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 and I found comfort in food since I was like 15 when I had first started remembering 
And the reason I'm saying this is because I was talking about after I have lost the weight, I still sometimes uh, try to seek comfort in food, even though I have a stomach the size of a jelly bean. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which probably now is about the size of an apple. Because <laughs> I didn't eat so much, you know? And uh, back to what I was saying. So I, I was seeking uh, love in all the wrong places and trying to cope. You know what I'm saying? I was having babies and all this different type of stuff and just living my life. And then I turned to alcohol as well as food. And I became a person who drink, 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 you know? And that was just like a road to destruction. And then I got into partying, drinking, and all that. And my life just kept on going at a, a crazy thing. And I continued to gain weight. So whenever the first thing I did, just jumping ahead, because uh, I didn't tell this story before, is whenever I had weight loss surgery, y'all don't know this, after I had it, the first thing I was like, I'm getting a therapist, okay? And, and then bam, we had coronavirus. And I had a therapist. I had a lady. And we had one session. Um, the first day I went to her, she had a history with weight loss patients because um, her family, her children, they all had weight loss already, but they went to Mexico. Okay? So she knew about a lot of the mental things you go through with having weight loss surgery. So I was so grateful to have her. And then we was going to have sessions on the phone. But I only went to one with her, so I didn't even go back. So now, behavioral health is opening. So I'm going to call and reschedule my appointment with her. Because I'm having not really issues with food. But I need help to not let my emotions control my food. Because I really feel like I have come too far to let food control me in any kind of way. If I'm upset, if I'm thinking about anything or I'm just uh, uh you know just going through any kind of emotions uh I look for food some days because having this surgery don't take away your hunger you'll, you'll just be greedy enough to eat till you throw up or something okay you have to have self-control you have to let fight the mental battles and childhood trauma transfers into adult trauma if you don't get help because with me not seeking help, it just transferred into adult trauma and then I went into alcoholism and all that, long story. But I thank God that I know that I can seek help and that, a lot, that's what sustained me a lot with God, okay? Because without him, I would not have made it, y'all. And I'm full. <laughs> this is my last little bite, okay? I'm stuffed. But I didn't eat at all today. Wait, I think it's like five o'clock. Or four o'clock. And I had something earlier. I did eat breakfast. Yeah, I did. And that was at like eight o'clock this morning. And this is my second time eating. So I'm thinking that's okay. But I'm very full, so now I gotta try to move a little bit <laughs> like a snake because I'm full. These things were good. I love that shrimp though. I'm a shrimp person. I am. But I want to talk about the childhood trauma because it really affects you with a weight, in the weight loss surgery community. A lot of people try to always dodge the question like, oh, it had to be something wrong. Maybe not in your case. Maybe it just was, it was in your genes. But in my case, it was something that was traumatic, you know. So, I'm glad to know that. And I will be seeking me some help like ASAP because I know I need it. Of course. There's a little funky fly. Get out. I love y'all so much. And I just wanted to come and chill with y'all. And have this nice, calm conversation. Okay? Because I was thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? Tell me down below. Have you ever had any kind of childhood trauma that you went through? If you ever been, If you ever have been through any childhood trauma, just know that you are loved. You are um, really... People understand that. And a lot of people have went through A lot of shame comes with that. But... I just bind shame and you need to be outspoken, get you some kind of help and then you'll just live a better life. And if you are gaining weight because you've been through it, really seek help because you, especially if you're young, because you want to do it while you're young, deal with the trauma, deal with the molestation, deal with the hurt, the abuse, whatever you've been through and watch how you're going to probably shed weight. Watch how you're probably going to uh, 
come to be in a better place where your mindset is going to be focused on living a better life. So I believe in therapy. I believe in help and I believe that people should get it. So my life would have been a, probably a different road if I had for one, not been abused. Okay. But for two, if I had uh, told my mama and got help. So I thank God that even though it's late, I got the, I got some of the help that I needed and I will continue to get it probably until the day I die because I'm going to need it, you know, because uh, this mine is cool, cool. Oh God. <laughs> but I love y'all so much. Uh, leave me some beautiful comments down below. Leave me some awesome love. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for coming and rock with me. We got 28,300 y'all in a few days. So thank y'all so much. This awesome grub family. Thank y'all for subscribing. Um, tomorrow we're going to be doing some savage eating, which I won't get this video till day after tomorrow. And then y'all get the savage eating video because I got a good, good, good idea. So be ready for it because we're going savage. And I'm just saying, okay, well, we are going to be good. Some good eating. I'm just going hard because I got it planned and I know what I want to do. It's going to be an awesome video. Always remember to dab on your haters and spark on them. And I will see you when the next time it's time to grow. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I know you wanna leave